Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with walkerfitmuscle.com and welcome back for another video. Today's video is all about the holiday season, man, and how to stay fit during the holidays. I get it, you're working out hard, you're making great progress. Here we are, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, all these things are coming up and you wanna make sure you don't just blow it all in the next couple days. So if you wanna know my recommendations and what you need to make sure you're doing to continue on making progress and being fit and healthy, then watch this video and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do just that. All right guys, before I get into all the details, all right, how to stay fit during the holidays, how to continue to get shape in shape during the holidays, if you're not currently fit, but you are making great progress and you're just afraid to blow that progress, I'm about to show you what you need to do. But first, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Also make sure you click on that bell icon that way you get notified every time I upload a new video. All right, here's the thing. With the holidays right around the corner, it's really difficult. You've been motivated, you've been working hard, you've been making progress, you're doing everything right, but a lot of people get completely derailed. Here's what happens. Let me know if this sounds familiar. You're doing great, but then the holidays get here. You start snacking leading up to the holidays. Then you've got Thanksgiving. You're eating a ton of food, pies, cakes, desserts, hanging out with family, doing all the snacking. You eat leftovers, you eat leftover snacks, leftover desserts. And then the next day comes around and you're like, I already blew it. Let me just enjoy this day. And then the weekend, let me enjoy this day, this day, this day. And guess what? You're completely derailed. You're like, all right, man, I already screwed up. Christmas is right around the corner. I might as well just do what I can to maintain the best that I can. And then after Christmas, after New Year's, then I'll start over. Then I'll start with all the other New Year's resolutionists. All right, that happens far too often. Here's the thing, enjoy your holidays, man. Enjoy your Thanksgiving with your family. Enjoy eating all the wonderful foods that you wanna eat. Just have a positive mindset and realize that it's temporary. It's not really gonna set you back if you do what I'm about to tell you to do, all right? I'm gonna tell you how to prepare for those days. And this is something you can also use if you have a vacation coming up. It's what I do for every holiday. I even incorporate this for my vacations. But basically, how to stay fit during holidays, holiday season. All right, one thing I will point out. All right, let's say, we're looking at Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving being on a Thursday, three days prior, three days prior to Thanksgiving, three days prior to Christmas, three days prior to a vacation, three days prior, here's what I'm gonna recommend. I want you to follow an OMAD diet. It's not really a diet, but OMAD, one meal a day. All right, that's all you're going to do on Monday, all you're gonna do on Tuesday, all you're going to do on Wednesday. Here's the other thing. You wanna make sure you are fasting, a long fast, and like an intermittent type of fasting. So the one meal a day is going to be your dinner meal. I don't need one breakfast, not one lunch. You're gonna have dinner, and you're gonna fast till the next day when you have dinner. Then you're gonna fast till the third day when you have dinner, all right? So that's what you're gonna do for the three days prior. The other thing you're going to do is hammer your workouts. You want to deplete your glycogen levels. When you're eating good complex carbohydrates, your glycogen levels, which are energy stores, are full, all right? They're full, so what you're going to do they're gonna naturally be depleted already because you're not putting a lot of fuel back into your body through nutrition. But I want you to do three workouts, okay? Here's the thing. You're still gonna do three workouts, three days prior. So you will do one on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Again, these days are relative to the holiday it is, okay? The holiday is just three days prior or the vacation three days prior. 
So, and the key with these workouts, they're going to be full body workouts, preferably full body compound movement workouts. For instance, you're gonna do some type of squat. All right, you're gonna do a squat, you're gonna do a deadlift, you're gonna do a bench press, you're gonna do a back row, so a shoulder press. So you're working full body movements three straight days. Typically you don't do that because that leads to overtraining. Well, the key with what we're doing now is intentional overtraining. You do want to overtrain for three days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three workouts, full body. Let's see if I can write that. Full body complex. All right, full body complex, same here. Full body complex, same on Wednesday, full body complex. So the last thing is make sure you're getting a gallon of H2O, gallon of water, all three of those days. So that is going to help. We are intentionally overtraining your body, intentionally underfeeding your body. So your body is going to deplete itself of all the complex carbohydrates that are being stored as glycogen. And these workouts are going to completely wipe you out. You're still gonna have fuel, you're still gonna have some energy to get through the workouts because of the stored glycogen you already have. All right, so what this does and why this is so important is your body is depleted of nutrition. Your body is depleted of nutrients, of fuel, of glycogen. You're keeping your water levels high so everything else going on in your body as far as hormones are gonna be optimized. But what this does, it allows you to enjoy your time with your family because here's what I want you to do now. Once you've gone through and done this, you eat what you want on Thanksgiving for lunch. You eat what you want for dinner, all right? But don't go overboard, that's the other thing. The last thing you wanna do is basically what I recommend, have your Thanksgiving lunch. Have a mid-afternoon snack, a dessert, or whatever you've been craving, and then have another Thanksgiving dinner. So you get two big meals, you get a good snack. So only eat those three times, two meals and a snack. So you get to enjoy it with your family. You're not dieting with your family. You're enjoying eating what they're eating, but you're just basically doing it instead of two servings. Get your plate, fill it up with what you want, eat it, be done. You have your, like I said, mid-afternoon snack, piece of dessert, whatever you want, then you're done. Your dinner, same thing, fill up your plate. The reason I'm saying fill up your plate is this isn't the key to eating two servings each time. You don't wanna eat 5,000, 6,000 calories each meal. Here's why that is so important. If you've already done this, all the food you're putting in your body is just replenishing glycogen levels. It's actually repairing the overtraining that you've done for three days. So you're actually benefiting yourself with those meals. Your body wants those meals. It wants the sugars, it wants the fats, it wants the sodium. All of those are gonna reward you for working so hard those three days prior, okay? So you're actually getting benefits out of it. Instead of just maintaining the status quo, you're using this holiday to benefit you going forward. Leptin, ghrelin levels, these are hunger hormones, starvation hormones. All of these are gonna be optimized. Everything is gonna work out perfectly, all right? And if you have, like me, I typically have a couple different Thanksgiving days. Big family, we have a Thanksgiving lunch with one of my wife's families. We have a Thanksgiving dinner with my family. The next day, we have another Thanksgiving lunch with another part of our family. So you can do that as well. So for instance, if we're doing Thursday, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, this is what you did. Thursday, you enjoyed those three, two meals and a snack. Friday, have whatever you want for lunch again. Have another mid snack, whatever you want, dessert. And then also have another Thanksgiving dinner. So that's two days to enjoy, two days to recover, to replenish with all the nutrients and fuel that you put into your body. So you're gonna get great benefits by doing that. Also take those days off, Thursday, Friday, don't train at all. 
Just allow yourself to get super compensated with the nutrients. If Saturday, Sunday comes around and you wanna work out with family, because that's how we are, we enjoy those two days and I got family in town that wanna work out with me. So we will work out on Saturday. We will work out on Sunday. If you wanna do that, do it. If you don't wanna do it, then don't do it. Enjoy that rest time, you've earned it. So that's what you wanna do. You're rewarding yourself for all the hard work prior to this holiday season. So what I would recommend is take that weekend, do what you wanna do without overindulging. Monday, get right back to it. Monday, the next Monday, the next Monday, do everything the way you were doing it prior to the Thanksgiving. And then right before Christmas gets here, same approach. Three days before Christmas, do this exact same thing. Enjoy Christmas Eve, enjoy Christmas, enjoy the day after Christmas. Take a three to four day time to enjoy, to replenish and recover, and then get back to it again once Christmas is over, things are back to normal, and then you're gonna be ready and you're setting yourself up for success for the new year. You're not gonna be behind. That's what too many people do. A lot of clients back in the day, I'm training, getting great results, they blow it over, the, over six weeks. Over Thanksgiving, Christmas, they tell themselves, you know what, I'm just gonna enjoy these whole six weeks and I'll start back after New Year's. You set yourself back two months. If you do what I'm telling you, you're gonna enjoy everything and still get benefits out of it. Then come New Year's, once the New Year's, hey, enjoy your New Year's as well, but once you get back to normal, that first week of January, then you get back to doing what you were doing prior to, prior to, and you're not gonna be set back. You're just gonna continue to make progress, continue to get better, more healthy, more fit, look better, feel better, all the wonderful benefits of working out and eating healthy. So do that, it will really help you and set you up for success with this new year coming up. If you have any questions about any of this, man, comment below and let me know. I hope it made sense to you. But if not, again, I will clarify it in the comment section if you just ask. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Other than that, man, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.